Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try this problem on your own. Let's start by reading this problem. It says that in 2013, the United States Postal Service charged 46 cents to mail a letter weighing up to one ounce. All right, so it's, it's 46 cents, right, for up to one ounce. I like to write these things down um, because I, I like to go slow in these problems to figure them out. Then it's, we're told that's 20 cents per ounce after that. Okay. 20 cents for each additional ounce. Okay. So we've got that basic information. All right. What is the function we would use to determine the cost? So, so we can see for cost in dollars, and they're calling it C of Z or C based on Z of mailing a letter weighing Z ounces. That's a weird way of saying it, of course, but mathematically it tells us that Z is the variable for the ounces. So Z is the number of ounces. Where Z is an integer greater than one. So Z has to be, uh, integers are positive or negative whole numbers, and has to be greater than one. So at first glance, you might think this, as, as I first did, that you're starting off with 46 cents, right, for the first the first letter or whatever, uh, the first ounce, excuse me, and then you're adding 20 cents per ounce after that. Now, that's partly true, except think about this restriction right here. The number of ounces um, for Z is greater than 1. So let's just test our formula to see if it even makes sense. So we're saying if C is, Z is greater than 1, so it has to be an integer, it can't be like 1.5, it has to be a whole number. So 2. Look what happens if you plug in 2 for Z. We get 0 0.46 plus 20.20 20 times 2. And now think about this, doesn't make any sense. Why? Because for a 2 ounce letter, you would pay the 46 cents for the first ounce and then only one group of 20 cents right beyond that. Remember, it's only 20 cents per each additional ounce past the first ounce. So something with our formula is wrong. Think, what number should go here, right? What should we put here? Think about it. If we have the 46 cents for the first ounce, or 0.46 dollars for the first ounce, then we should only have to add on 20 cents for the each additional ounce. This number should be 1. So what do we have to do to 2 to make it 1? Well, we have to subtract 1, right? How can we do that in our formula? Well, we can say that we always take our z and take 1 away from it, right? So this would then end up working because this would end up being 1. So let's fix this. And our formula would model the situation, 1. Right? Think about it. This would be $0.46 plus $0.20. And that would be $0.66, cents, which makes sense because you, you add $0.20 cents onto the 46 for the 1 ounce beyond the first free ounce. So here, that's choice 4. Nothing to memorize here. I mean, if you are writing an equation, you think you've got it, as I did when I first wrote this, plug in a value of 2 to think about what's happening. Uh, or plug in a value to test the situation and test your equation. All right. Hope this helped.